Within the last 40 years, uh, the burden of stroke in low and middle income countries had doubled, whereas it has reduced by 42% in high income countries. Uh, in actual fact, uh, in the last two decades, the prevalence of stroke has increased by 85%. The absolute numbers of those living with stroke has increased by 85%. The low and middle income countries appear to be worst uh, it appears to be most affected. Uh, the African continent, India, Asia, you know, perhaps because of the uh, imagine and overwhelming burden of non-communicable diseases, particularly cardiovascular risk factors such as hypertension, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, uh, dyslipidemia, and uh, diabetes mellitus. I think we need to use the four-pronged approach, the stroke quadrangle. We need to uh, improve surveillance by counting the numbers, identifying what the risk factors are, and monitoring uh, the impact of our interventions on those risk factors. And then the other three pillars of the stroke quadrangle are prevention. So we need health promotion, primary and primordial prevention of, of stroke, early detection and control of stroke risk factors, uh, and uh, of course we also need to improve on acute care services by quickly identifying those who have suffered acute stroke and offering uh, st acute stroke care in terms of stroke units and thrombolytic therapy where that is uh, indicated or thrombectomy where that is indicated or evacuation of clot where that is indicated and of course blood pressure me me management, uh, uh, prevention of aspiration and devenous thrombosis and uh, rehabilitation services which is the fourth pillar to improve the quality of life of stroke survivors, uh, restore function as much as possible in a multidisciplinary setting.